All right, I look and sound tired. The hair is a mess. Let's get into it. What's going on guys, Medieval Maniac here. Just uh, came on quick today to share with you a story of mine from a while back. This is actually a pretty dangerous one, and uh, when it's from a trip that I took one time to the Colorado Rocky Mountains, in which I almost died. Okay, so this was about three years ago, when my Science Olympiad team uh, qualified for the national event in Colorado. And if you don't know what Science Olympiad is, it's an academic competition that is uh, obviously, as the name implies, science-based. So yeah, I know, nerd alert, but you know, it was, it was fun, so it was something to do. So um, yeah, my team qualified to go and I head over on a jump on a plane with a bunch of other <laughs> immature teenagers and we head on to the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Well, not the Rocky Mountains per se, just Colorado in general. Uh, we arrive in Denver Airport, take a bus, and, you know, the first day, we all just kind of get settled in, you know, there's the dorms and everything, sleeping arrangements. And, you know, there's a story there as well, but that's a story for another time. Um, so on the second day, our teacher decides, oh, well, let's just head up to the Rocky Mountains, you know, why not? Let's just take a, a hiking trip, you know? So we head on up to the mountains. And, you know, it's a pretty exhausting hike. You know, we go up and... You know, it's, you know, uphill climb, you know, there's lots of stones, at which point, you know, our teacher was very, very, very uh, particular about this. And he was saying, make sure you stay hydrated, you know, and he kept saying it throughout the trip. But when we started to actually climb the mountain, he didn't mention it. So as we we're going on, you know, we began to climb this very steep hill and we see that there's this biker. You know, like a you know, mountain biker, you know, not like a like a motorcycle. You know, this mountain biker guy is just kind of sitting there. And then our teacher turns around and says, stay hydrated. So then there's this kid in our team. And uh, he, he walks up to the guy and he says, hydrated. <laughs> because he had understood that my teacher had said, say hi to Drated. And I know that's not the main point of the story, but it's just funny. <laughs> oh, man. Either way, getting back to the point, as we're climbing up, you know, there a lot of people are just falling because there was a bunch of, like, it's not even ground. There's not, like, a good hiking, there's not, like, a good smooth hiking ground. It's very uneven, and you know, there's rocks everywhere, so you're just kind of stepping on rocks as you're going on. And I just, and then, you know, all of a sudden, we just see one of my friends, uh, Steven, just come back and he's running and he's like, nope, 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 nope. And we don't really know what's going on. So he just ran so far back, we couldn't even ask what was going on. So we just go up, we, we just kind of keep going. And then all of a sudden people are like, wait, no, everybody turn around. And I'm, and you know, everybody's like, wait, what's going on? And then I, I keep walking and then. I notice, I begin to look down, and right in front of me is a big fat rattlesnake, just, you know, just chilling, you know, just, what's up? And then I'm like, oh, hell no. So I just ran. I took off completely in the other direction. I just took off, I booked it. No thanks, I'd like to come home. So yeah, I, the thing is, I don't think my insurance covers that percentage of rattlesnake venom in my blood, so I just kind of booked it as well. And, you know, the best part about that was that obviously our initial reaction is obviously not to run away or to find a safe area, but for most of the other kids, it's to just stand there and take pictures because, you know, that's what you do. <laughs> so it's it, the whole thing just becomes this kind of hectic mess of just kind of kids trying to take pictures and the teachers just kind of holding them back so that they don't get close and this poor rattlesnake man he was just minding his own business and then all of a sudden a bunch of kids just nearly just 
kids just almost stepping on him, infringing on his territory. And after that initial shock, there's the <gasps> rattlesnake. And then obviously there's the pictures. <laughs> and about five minutes later, the snake just finally leaves and we can continue on our path. I think the moral of the story is if you almost die, make sure you take pictures so that people believe you and you can get the clout. I think that's the lesson, right? All right, so that was just the story about how I almost died in Colorado on a school trip on the Rocky Mountains. On, in, speaking 100. All right, so make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I think I'm going to be doing hopefully more stories like this. I don't know, I had kind of fun just making it. So yeah, catch you guys later. Make sure you subscribe, hit that. Yes, smash the like button. Full trip on the Rocky Mountains. On, in, speaking 100. All right, so make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I think I'm gonna be doing hopefully more stories like this. I don't know, I had kind of fun just making it. So yeah, catch you guys later. Make sure you subscribe hit that yes smash the like button